The Printer Styles program allows you to define printers in Jonas that link to your Windows printer and to define their settings. Note that the printer must be installed in Windows before it can be connected here. To set up a printer style, navigate to System Administration, System Setup, and Printer Styles. To set up a new printer, select Add a new print style, or select an existing printer to make edits. Let's look at an existing printer for example. The following fields should be filled out. Printer style is used to define the code of the printer and can be a max of six characters in length. For the description, enter a detailed description for this printer. The type of printer is used to help determine what driver to use for the printer. Out of the three options, the first laser standard laser printer is the most common option. Then you'll want to choose your device type, which is used to determine how the printer style should behave. The two most common options you'll use include GUI, which stands for Graphic User Interface and is used for most printing in Jonas. With the GUI printer, Jonas sends an image of the whole page at once to the printer and tells it to draw it. GUI printers tend to line up better and are therefore ideal for printing checks. GUI styles also permit multiple fonts and stylized reports. This option is typically used for your regular printer. Then you have the text device type. With a text printer, Jonas sends information to be printed one line at a time. This option is typically used for chip printers. Below that is the device slash file name. Use this field to browse and link the printer style to a Windows system printer. Shared printers that are dedicated to one purpose, like POS chit and preparation printers, are situations that require tying a Windows printer name to a particular style. Doing this will not stop the flow of processing to prompt the printer to select a printer. It will just go by itself to the printer style it has been hard-coded to. Note that the name of this printer in Windows must be identical on all workstations if you use this method of tying a style. Otherwise, one terminal will print fine, but others will get a printer not responding message when trying to use it. Note that for this option, you cannot search for the printer and have to include the UNC path and may need to ask your IT for assistance. The device driver is used for the text device type. Use this field to select a driver to match the type of printer. The most common is POS Epson T88. If you need to, you can use the restrict to and from, and these fields are mutually exclusive. You can use these fields to show slash hide the list of printer styles to each of the various Jonas workstations in your system. If you have a lot of workstation IDs to enter, you may omit the commas between the IDs, as the max length of the list is 40 characters. Otherwise, enter each terminal ID with a comma and no spaces in between. And this is an optional setting. The remaining fields you see on the screen here are optional and more information on these fields can be found within our help documentation. Next, we want to take a look at our Preferences section on the right-hand side of the screen. For text device type printer styles, if your printer is not opening the drawer or cutting the paper, you can Google codes, look in the printer manual, or contact support. The issue may be caused by the selected driver in the main screen. For GUI, under the text options, you can set the font style, adjust the formatting to bold, underlined, and italicized, and we do recommend that you leave the font colors to 0, which is black for your foreground text, and 7, which is white for your background. Note that the list of installed Windows fonts on this workstation will be displayed. If another workstation does not have the selected font installed, the system will revert to the Windows default courier new. The title block is the part of a report that prints the company code and name. Subheadings are found within the body of the report, breaking the report up into sections. The trailer is the portion of the report at the bottom of the page that indicates the date and time when the report was run, the Jonas Form Designer Program, User ID, and Terminal ID. If you make any changes in a preference screen, just make sure you go ahead and click that OK button. Before completing your setup, you can also use the test feature 
to see how the printer style performs on your printer. Then make sure you go ahead and click OK to save your changes. Now that you have defined the printer styles, you can add the printer style to your workstation. To do so, we're going to navigate over to System Administration, System Setup, and Workstation Setup. And go ahead and select the applicable workstation. You're going to use the nearest printer selection field to assign your printer style, where you can use the F2 lookup list to view a list of available printers. On the right hand side of the screen, as applicable to the workstation, we can also navigate over to point of sale and set up the chip printer. You also have the ability to adjust your tea time printer by navigating to the tea time section and specifying the tea sheet printer. As usual, if any changes are made, go ahead and click OK and OK to save those changes.